Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we've got another part to the epic story of the Cobalt K-Stack system. This is continuing to evolve through 2023 and hopefully on be, uh, and beyond. So I've got another video where I went through the introductory set of the Cobalt K-Stack system, starting from right about there on down, working its way through the various accessories that you can attach to the system. The wide front bar, the cord wrap, the level holder, the side bars, the battery holders, and the charger mounts that go inside some of the cases. But today we've got release number two, or the second wave of the Cobalt K-Stack system here for you today. And so to start off, the first thing we've got right here is a two drawer module. We have an organizer, and now we have our very first half width pieces, and at the very top, the top of the soft, we've got a zipper close bag. We'll take a look at all of these new pieces for 2023 uh, as we work through the system. So let's start off with the drawers in the middle. All right, so starting off here with the drawers. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is you'll notice I can't open these drawers. Now why can't, I mean, I kind of can on that left side. Why? Because I've got a lock right here that I need to be able to unlock, but I can't because the actual product card is right there with the zip tie. So what do we need to do? Well, get out the scissors and we're gonna snip that off. So now that we've got the zip tie cut off here, we can lock or unlock the drawer. And you can see what's interesting about this is I see an unlock icon right here on the padlock showing that it's unlocked, but that's really the lock position. You have to push it up for the unlock. It's a little bit backwards from how I would do the icons, but we pull out this first drawer here. We've got these dividers, and here we can pull out any of the short dividers. Nice little spot here if you want to put a label up there. Or you can even pull out the long divider, so you could have three, six, nine of these in any other way that you want to configure these drawers. That works for you. Little tab right here in the front. Again, keeping with the rest of the case stack system if you want to label things. Really thinking through that organization. Now the bottom drawer in this here does not include that divider system. It's just a blank open drawer. If I take an XTR impact tool with the belt clip on, that's about the right height there for it. And so you could have whatever you want to slide into your drawers. Now obviously you could stack multiple of these drawer sets together. And then as we work our way up the stack, so obviously you could integrate various combinations of these different box types as we work through. If we're looking at the drawers and we take the cobalt tray that comes out of the other boxes, we can successfully set that in the drawer. There's not really a way to secure it there and it will also close, no problem. One thing with these drawers here that I think would have been a nice addition that is not included is a handle on the side to be able to pick it up. Because at least the way that I've got my system set up here, what I would like to be able to do is be able to pick it up here and disconnect my system from the main, the three the original three boxes below from these drawers and what's above it. And to reach in to grab a handle up here, there's definitely space they could have put one. They didn't, because if I could just reach around, grab a handle, that would make it easier Instead, I'm left having to use these handles on the half width organizers to try to separate this, we'll call it my top half from the bottom half of the case stack system. Obviously, I could take it apart piece by piece by piece, but just trying to be efficient with my time, I just don't always wanna do it like that. So that's one little thing I wish they would have improved on with these drawers, but otherwise they offer everything I want. Uh, the other little thing I've discovered is the latch over here. You bump it the wrong way, can accidentally uh, uh, shut on you because it does close down with gravity. But there's a bit of an upside to that because if you need to leave a drawer open for a colleague, lock the system like that, then we can come back and still push in the drawer and we can't reopen it. Although again, these are plastic drawers. So if somebody really, really wants to get into your system, Let's just face it, they can do it because they can also disconnect and take it home, steal the whole box and just cut it open. So the security on any of these systems, whether it's Cobalt, it's Flex, if it's Klein, 
or whoever it is, is only going to be, you know, it's just going to prevent thefts of opportunity because it's just a plastic toolbox storage system. Um, so obviously be mindful of the whole setup here. You know, some guys I've seen, you know, like to take their boxes and they'll like spray paint them pink or other weird colors that everybody clearly knows that's so-and-so's box. Uh, maybe that's you. Maybe that's somebody else you know. If you know somebody like that, put in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. And on the side of the drawers right here, there's a mounting spot where you could take one of these narrow side bars like this. Showed you that before. Slide it right on here like this. And then now you can hang your drill or you could hang a set of batteries off to the side of your drawers like that. So really these side bars, I think are kind of one of the secret uh, accessories that you really may want a handful of if you're into the system because those are the gateway to some other possibilities with the system. Working our way up to the next box up here. Next box is the full size organizer. It too will accommodate the sidebars on here on both sides. Let's spin the stack around. And you can see on the front of the organizer stack, this one does not have an obvious place to be able to place a label on it. But now to get to this one, since this is kind of in the middle, we're gonna to have to kind of jump around here. And so then I'm gonna work my way up to the very top here. And we have the Cobalt K-Stack System Tool Bag. You pull out the latch here and the latch there. You can see the bag very clearly says Cobalt K-Stack. So if you're in store and you're trying to figure out is the tool bag I'm about to look at actually K-Stack compatible, we'll check it out. It should say K-Stack on it. I should also point out there's also another similar bag that is open top that does not zip shut. For me, I actually like the zipper one better. I don't really like an open top bag because if I'm gonna carry a tool bag, I kinda wanna be able to close it up. Obviously, your preference may vary. Nice buckle straps on either side. We've got various sets of pockets. Sorry. And then we got various sets of pockets all the way around the bag. On the side, nice through spot here. I can stick my hand all the way through here, so if you need to stick something long through the side, You've got some other possibilities there. We'll take a look into this bag. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into this Cobalt K-Stack bag. So we got the card here, no surprise. It is made in, guess where? If you said China, you're wrong. It's actually the bag is made in the Philippines. So what we get here is we got a nice heavy duty uh, fabric, really beefy zippers, opens up. And inside, well, there's some cardboard. We'll take that out. And then let's lean over for a look here. We've got a nice padded strap. I've got to give them some credit here. There's actually padding on here. I know I've ragged on Cobalt in the past for giving some cheap straps with some of their other products, but they actually did a good job there. Silica packet, don't let kids play with that. Pockets on the inside, nice wide mouth bag that you could fit other items in. And then you have the exterior pockets. And there is a bit of a wire or a metal ring around the side here that helps to for form the shape of this. You also got pockets on the side up here, lots of pockets. You've got these other uh, click straps here. You've got another pocket here. So you've got lots of places that you can store stuff, set stuff, a nice little uh, ring right there for hanging a tape measure or a drill or something else. Probably a tape measure if you're carrying it around, but when it's in the case stack configuration, well, you know, you, your mileage may vary for how you want to use it. I think we all have our opinions on how we want to stack things up. And to be honest with you, if this weren't $60, I would consider buying this just for that bottom plate and trying to repurpose that into, say, a work surface or something else. Uh, but at 60 bucks, that's a little bit pricey for just trying to cut everything away to get to that bottom plate because this bottom plate to me would be the perfect template for how perhaps the bottom of, the, of a vacuum should look or some other tools would look. 
or maybe a work surface or something else or a clamping surface, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think you could do that with the base out of this bag. Hopefully we'll see some accessories like that from Cobalt uh, coming up in the future with some of their launches as the system continues to evolve for what this can be today and what it can be in the future. Now the next items down here is the half width organizer. I'm gonna pop that out there. And so this works with the center cleat. It has to just be popped up in the middle and then it sets on off to the side. And now these are somewhat directional. These cannot be mounted like this because the outside clip here has to go to the outside. So then your handles on the box will go to the outside. So what do we get with this organizer? Well, we've got metal latches on either side. Open up the lid. And now in here, we've got some single size bins that can come out. And we also, sorry, the lid's falling there. And we also have this three in one bin. And like other folks have said famously, but wait, there's more. So with these bins here, we'll set that up here and we'll set one of these bins here. And now let's see what else can we do with that. All right, now we're looking at the side of the stack again. We've got the battery holder on that sidebar. I'm gonna take that off for right now. Because what we can do, if we look at the back side of this, there's a little clip here. And so we can simply set that on the outside of our stack right there. And then we can do things like throw in whatever other tools off to the side, have a, a set of screws that we can pull out, put away, have accessible on the side of our pack. Fantastic option, but wait, there's more. Take the large three in one tray. And I say three in one because it can be three or it can be two or it can be one. Just by removing those divider inserts like that. Look on the side here, you see a nice little tab. What could that be for? Well, we've got this bar, like I said before, is sort of the supercharged accessory that you can attach it onto the side. And then you can drop in whatever you want. So you could go one battery, two batteries, scissors, three batteries, or whatever else you want to be able to put into that side mount tray. I want to make it too heavy. Those clips don't appear like they're going to be the most robust, but if you've got screws, it'll be just fine. Or other small fasteners, you should be fine. So you've got all these options. We'll take your system apart and reconfigure it. And a lot of it comes down to the side rails that are the supercharger to the system and open up the options for you. So now with this half size organizer here, first thing you might notice, I've taken some of the, the compartments out organize it and now my lid doesn't shut. Why? Well, because these organizers are not in the right spots to be able to actually have it match up with the lid like this to have it shut. Because now if I go ahead and lock down the lid and I give this a shake, you'll notice those organizer trays are still right up here and right there. Open it up again like that. Now these can go in any of four directions and there are these little seat pockets here, if you will. Hopefully you can see that, that they set into. So make sure you get them set in there properly. If you just put them in there all kind of cattywampus like that, it, the, your lid won't actually shut. So that's your little sign that, hey, your organizer system's gonna leave you a little disorganized and disappointed. So give it a second and fix the system and reseat your bins. I should also point out with the three in one organizer tray. If you want to put that in the back, that does work. Although maybe not quite as well as in the front. Either way, it does work. Put in the trays. Like that and shut the lid and you're good. Now, one of the next things you might be wondering, well, what about this little handheld tray that comes out of some of the other containers in the case stack system? Will this fit into this half width organizer? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is no, it does not fit. To me, that would have been a really nice if I could also place this as an option, pull it out just to give me more options. Unfortunately, that 
combination does not work. They're not sold together, they're not marketed that way, but just something for food for thought in case your mind works like mine. So obviously if you're building a stack, you might want a pair of these to be able to stack in your system on either side. So what I think I'm probably gonna do is make one of these into a first aid kit, because I think that's a good idea if you're working anywhere in your garage or out and about, but you should always have a first aid kit with you. That's just, I think, a really important idea. Label it, mark it as your first aid kit. That's just being prepared. If you're also wondering if the entire set of, or one of these entire uh, half width modules will fit in the drawer, the answer to that is not really. You could kind of, I think I could force that down farther to make it fit, but I think I'd be doing damage to the drawer to make it work. It's not really practical, nor is it intended to do that. And now we have the full width organizer. I'm gonna put these cleats down there, not that it matters. So like I mentioned before, you can mount the bar on either side, open up the lid, and this will stay attached. It is locked in currently to the drawer set. And this looks a lot like the smaller set. We've got the same bins that you can mix and match from the full width to the half, half width. These are mountable on the side rails. You also get a three-in-one tray here and a three-in-one tray on the other side. And if you're wondering, we could take out these three bins and then get another three-in-one tray from our other organizer, our half-width organizer, and drop that in just like that. So we can mix and match parts from this full-width organizer to the half-width organizer to give us options, especially if you're in a rush to clean up and you're just trying to figure out what you want or how you want to configure maybe some different items or tools that you want to put in. Between the full and the half width, you can kind of configure these however you want. So we've got those off to the side. So now if you're thinking, well, what if I were to take my three-in-one tray and I want to put it going side to side like that and fill in with some bins like this to have them at an angle to each other? Well, this here, unfortunately, is a combination that does not work. The lid does not close. Why does that not work? Because right up here, there's a couple ribs on the clear lid that are designed to mesh with the angled sides on the three-in-one organizer. Therefore, that does not lock together. So these do have to go front to back like that to make that work. However, if you put it in the center, it will work, but then you have to leave this side open as none of the bins will actually mesh with the way it's supposed to seal off for that three-in-one divider container there, and that will work, but then you've got an open space here on the side. Again, depends on what you're trying to do with your organizer case. Lots and lots of options. So now, if you're wondering about these organizers, these little individual cell organizers are checking in at a, about three and seven eighths inches deep. They measure about three and a quarter inches wide by three and a quarter inches. Then that overall height is coming in at about four and an eighth inches tall. So you can get a nice box of screws in to one of those containers with no problem. And so really what this does is this opens up lots and lots of options for you. Now, if we take the organizer trays out of the other pieces of the puzzle, we can also fit these in here if we want like that, no problem. Now, if we take one of these individual dividers and try to put it in the modulated cells, that does not work. If we pull out two slots like that and we take the three in one tray, we want to slide it, nope, doesn't work like that. We would have to go the long way, but in order to go the long way, we have to pull out this one, which means we're gonna be losing even more structure and support. 
and even then it still does not fit. So you'd have to basically take all of it out to make that work. And what you can also do with this, say you've got this set of parts container, and we take our cobalt case stack tool bag, make sure I get the locks here in place, set it down on both sides, and then unlock the bottom, then I can take, let me pull the camera back, then I can pick up the tool bag like this, and I've got my box of screws with it to go with my tool bag to go carry in or to carry to another corner. For those of you that want to be all meta and you're wondering, can you put some case stack inside of some case stack? The answer in this case is actually yes. Yes, you can case stack inside of your case stack system. Let me unzip this and then out comes the half width organizer. Voila. So now if we take this case stack system, so we've got one of everything except for a tool bag, just for your own amusing reference. But one of everything, I mean, at least in each layer, this is checking in at about 56 inches tall at a tool bag, and you will be in the ballpark of over six feet of cobalt case stack system. What does also become noticeable as the stack grows taller is that this handle here only attaches at the bottom. And there's no extra attachment from the other boxes to the handle. So if you step on the pad here, this handle will move and flex with the box. Now to be fair, all the other systems I've tried all have that same issue. As your stack of boxes grows, the flimsiness of the handle kind of becomes an issue. Uh, so your mileage may vary in terms of needing to think about, well, what are you actually carrying with you? Because you really shouldn't be trying to carry everything and the kitchen sink. Try to be smart with what you're uh, lugging around. Uh, maybe that means you need to carry a couple of these or think about some other cart system for these kinds of boxes. Uh, your mileage may vary for how you want to use the system, but just something to keep in mind. Something else here I want to point out. So if you can see here, this might look a little funny. We've got this air gap here where I've got that half width organizer right here and nothing over there and the tool bag on top. So hypothetically, if I need to take my tool bag and go and I need just one small container of parts or I want to stack my stack pack like, or case stack like this, well, we've got a little bit of an issue here because if you have it set up like this, well, you can see the bag comes off it even though it is otherwise locked into place like that. But because it can slide off to the side like this, it does not work. So you cannot carry just one of these. There is no extra clip here at the bottom for being able to uh, lock this in from above to carry just one of these in an alternate configuration, that does not work. So just thinking about this, you know, there's lots of options for what you can do with the system and where this can go. And I'll give you a little teaser here right quick. There's another video coming with some more accessories that you haven't seen yet for the Cobalt K-Stack system. So go ahead and click the subscribe button right down there. Ring the bell for notifications if you haven't already done so. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, ring the bell. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.